for men and women participated in the game in order to get $10,000. However, this secret room will eat people led them to almost lose their lives. Zoe is a college student. She has a high IQ and enjoys studying quantum mechanics. One day, she receives a small, closed box. She struggles to open it, and a note pops up. She was invited to play an escape room game for a $10.000 prize. Also receiving the invitation was Jason. Then, Amanda, Danny, and Mike, the six of them stayed in the lounge. But the game did not start. When Ben wanted to go out, he took the door handle off. That's when they realized that the escape room game had already started. At that beginning, they were looking for clues in the room without panic. Zoe sees a book with a number in the title. So she rushes to the door and says the code dialed to the number for 150. And at that moment, the ceiling turned red. It was like they were in a giant oven. The crowd looked up at the ceiling in wonder. Someone was even in the mood to joke. Did any of you bring sunscreen? But soon they couldn't laugh anymore. The code dial could not be dialed back. And the room was getting warmer and warmer. The lounge had turned into a fully enclosed room. Everyone's face was red and red. They didn't dare to slacken off anymore. And anxiously looked for clues in the room. So we saw the text on the wall. Indicating that coasters could be used at any time. She suddenly had an idea. And pressed the coaster on the coffee table. The next second. A passage appeared in front of them. They pressed all the coasters. With the cups filled with water. In order to keep the passage open, they finally reached the second chamber one second before the explosion. Everyone in the cabin was in shock. Optimistic Danny Steele thinks it's just a game effect. Outside the cabin was a blanket of snow. It turns out that they will play this game from the oven to the snow. Which is really exciting. They only found a cotton jacket in this cold weather. Amanda handed the jacket to Zoe and let her wear it first. Then they found a fishing hole and a fishing pole. Zoe also found a compass. She pulled a magnet out of the ice sculpture based on the direction the compass was pointing north. They fished a large ice cube out of the water, and the key was in the big ice cube. Danny, find Ben and get the lighter. At that moment, there was a sudden change. The piece of ice that Danny was stepping on broke up and caused him to fall into the lake. Everyone is confused. They were on their knees, frantically looking for their partner, but they couldn't find him. When they felt tired and stopped again, they finally realized that this was not a game and that people would really die here. They only felt endless regret. But there is no regret in the world can be saved. They have no lighter, so they can only use their hands to cover the ice. Is this behavior a little crazy? But this is the only way they can think of. As the night got deeper and deeper, the ice was getting smaller and smaller. They finally escaped from the snow and reached the third chamber. It was an upside down billiard room. In a high rise, the dim light added a touch of mystery. Mike grumpily tried to find the clue alone, but the floor tiles suddenly fell in front of him. If Ben had reacted quickly and grabbed him, he would have been in hell. Amanda leapt onto a high platform. She found a combination lock. At the same time, so we saw the puzzle on the wall. She finished the puzzle and went to check the colors of the billiard balls against the puzzle. She combined it with the upside down secret room and guessed the combination. They all arrive at the race platform with a door. Except Amanda. This is... The tiles have all fallen. Underneath them was a mysteriously deep tunnel of who knows how many feet. Amanda couldn't make it to the door in the end. She tossed the eight ball to her partner a second before she fell. That's the door handle. And Zoe collapses. Two of their companions had already been killed. The fourth room was a ward where all the cases were recorded. It turns out that all six of them were the only survivors of some kind of accident. They'd been in their crashes, car accidents, landslides, and so on. They were all lucky to have survived, without exception. But what did the organizers bring them together for? Is it to see who is the luckiest person? A broken Zoe started to destroy the surveillance of the secret room. She felt that as long as the game organizer saw them, they couldn't win. Jason's mind raced. Since the game organizer knows them so well, Jason's mind raced. Since the game organizers knew so much about them, the chamber was made for them. He finds the defibrillator and tries to hit the top of his heart rate to get out. However, he accidentally electrocuted Mike. If he can't get out even with the highest heart rate, will he be able to escape with the lowest heart rate? On the other hand, Zoe is frantically destroying various props in the escape room. Jason Saturday down and waited for his heart rate to drop. Then the door opened, but the gas started to leak out. Zoe gave up on leaving. She was willing to stay here and wait for her death. Finally, only Jason and Ben reached the fifth chamber. Together they unscrewed the tunnel door and were poisoned at the same time. The whole world became a dream in their perception. The antidote was the same as the cotton jacket. 
There was only one copy. What should they do? Then they fought. Perhaps in their eyes, the other had become a beast. In the end, it was Ben's wood that prevailed. He defeated Jason and came to the last chamber. It was a warm, wooden room, but it wasn't friendly at all. The whole room opens and moves slowly towards the middle. He guessed the code to the door, but couldn't leave. Ben was falling apart by now. He hid in the closet at the last moment, when the walls of the room were closing in. But then a miracle happens, and the door opens. Ben comes out of the room and meets the Game Master. But the Game Master tried to make him lose his breath and couldn't escape. At the critical moment, Zoe came out from the side and saved him. It turns out that she found the gas mask in the ward and killed the staff who came to collect the body. Zoe and Ben became the first ever escapees from this escape room game. But is the game really over? The film comes to a screeching halt during the Game Master simulation test. The film is fast-paced and a lot of rules make people's minds twisted. While some of the chambers are boring, others are charmingly designed. The final game simulation test is even more breathtaking to watch. You may also want to challenge this tense and exciting escape room game.